Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. On the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper. God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown toward his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. The love of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died, and he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. There shall be no night there. The Lord will be to you an everlasting light, and your God, your glory. The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light. They need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. We are not of the night, nor of darkness, the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. <laughs>